So it's a bit late getting up to the show today. Uh, a bit of a wasted morning running around looking for a few things. Um, but uh, we're up now at the Nagoga Koi Show. Uh, and I believe Brian's fish, uh, Sankey from Marado, has won Grand Champion. Uh, so just going to have a walk around now quickly before I think they're closing shortly. So we'll see how we get on. Yeah, so as I say, a bit late getting up here, but um, I'll flick around as we go through these fats. Um, not too sure who's... I think that's not so bad this year. They actually have the, the breeders' names on the, the vats, so flick this round and start at the top here. That's Terra de Mori. Specialises in sort of Ginrin stuff. Um, it's quite a fair bit away out of the from the mountains. I think it's, it's out near the it's a fishing village on the west coast there. It's got some really nice fish in there. Uh, Yamanaka Oya, Shiro Susuis and Showa. This guy's one farm that I've still to get to to try and find my Tancho Shoas. And you would never guess that he breeds Tancho Shoa. If I look at it in the vat. Takatatsu. I think he just breeds a bit of everything, really. I haven't, I haven't visited his farm yet on this trip, so it might be worth trying to squeeze that in before I go tomorrow. Karashi, Kazudo. It's a, I think it's in one of my previous videos. It says father used to breed predominantly go sankey, but now the sons took over the farm and he sort of breeds a bit of everything. The weird and the wonderful. Evo's the pressure's off Evo there now. He's got all this filming done. He's just waiting to get it all uploaded. <laughs> They yep. expect a lot at the Shinko Kai. Yeah. Yeah. But it's exporting now, the file, so that's yeah. the first part. And then uh, we have to display the movie at the Benkei tonight. Yeah, oh, I'm looking forward to that. Me too. Yeah. But they, every year is different, then they want with music, without music, and yeah. they change things, <laughs> and I put the name in Japanese in there. It's, so yeah. I start filming, editing, filming, editing the whole day. Yeah. It's here like, 6 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, that's now. What time is it? 3 o'clock? Yeah. show is about to close, so I need to get my footage. And I think the party starts at 6. Yeah. Good luck. So, long day. All right. Thanks, Kivu. <laughs> yeah, we heard from Evo there. It's nearly 3 o'clock. I've left it the last minute to get up here. But uh, should be able to get around most of these before that. Yeah, this one, uh, Kano Koi Farm. Again, he was predominantly Goshki, but he has started breeding a few different varieties now over the last few years. I think actually that Martin Ochiba is Brian's fish. I think I've seen that in one of his pics from earlier in the, the trip. Really unusual pattern on that Ochiba. Not too sure how well you can see it there. Lovely Maritain. Sakamaki, another one that I want to get to before the... Yeah, the trip's going to be a busy last day if I get to all these places, but... You cruise along on these trips thinking you're getting around everywhere that you need to. And uh, the last day or two, it's still a mad rush. You think you can squeeze in another few boxes of fish here and there. Koshiji. Kase Koi Farm. Again, we have a box or two of fish from him. We've got the Shiro's and some Shoa. I'll just go around the main prizes here before we start moving in. This junior grand champion. Very small. Probably 15 cm or so. This is uh, Donald Kerr's fish. He's actually standing beside me at the minute. Congratulations, Donald. Thank you. Stunning Ginrin Kahaku. 
Who was the breeder of it, Donald? Coda. Coda. Very nice. It's a meal. Yeah. Yeah, but it's up to the 65. Wow. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Yeah. So, so that's the um, <laughs> it's a announcement that the show's finished, and so the breeders can now move in and lift all these fish. I'll just save it quickly while they're doing it. The, um, the smaller sizes are all kept in plastic bags, separated, just because there's so many fish for the and different breeders. They would need lots and lots and lots of different bats to be set up. So they'll have all these fish in separate sizes, photographed, <coughs> and then they're special clear bags, not just like normal fish bags. Makes it very easy for them to, to, to show the fish and move them away. And this is, uh, I'll just go around these main prizes quickly before they start moving these out of the way. Yeah, 60 BU size, best in size, Sankey. Again, I don't, I don't know which breeders some of these are, but I'm presuming this one maybe is a uh, this breeder there, Nagashima. Right. Mm. Oh. fish here. Yeah. I'm sure a Brian has won a few prizes at this, but uh, I'm just looking to see if we can find any of the Sankey that might have won it from Sindro Koi Farm. Again, a lot of Goskis still showing up in the prizes. And the quality like that is unbelievable. Donald Kerr again has won this one. Large Kikasu. Uh, it says Superior <coughs> Sakura Grand Prize. And a jumbo prize here for a large Mikasa Yogo. Not too sure what size it is, but I'm sure it's well over 90. Uh, Johans Sankey, not too sure which breeder that's from. Over 75. Lovely little Gin Men show there, young grand champion. Yeah, it's a bit of a free for all here now. The breeders will probably want to get these away. The, the banquet starts at I think half six, so they'll want to get all these fish back to the farms and get themselves ready to go to it tonight. And everything here that you see here, all these vats, everything will be literally packed away by four o'clock. Really, really fast at getting these things cleared up. Another very nice big kohaku here. Big NND Sankey, Martin Sankey. Don't think it won any major prizes, but let's see what it says here. Uh, I'm not too sure whether it's maybe one first or second. Alright, Steve. Yeah. Lovely Kohaku. Yeah, so this is a grand champion, James Profanato. That's um, if you remember, I did a video when I was out in New Jersey, the first pond that I went to, uh, Jimmy. Uh, it's good to see him winning a prize like this. Uh, it's Brian Fitzsimmons at Fish, Fitz Fish Ponds customer. Uh, absolutely stunning, Marado Sankey. A beast of a fish. Beautiful. Yeah. 
Really, really nice fish. I can't remember whether Brian actually won the, the, the Grand Champion last year as well. But uh, he's definitely done well at the shows over the last couple of years. There's uh, Shintro's fish getting hauled out. That's uh, actually Shintro Clay Farm there, stuff there. Not sure if I recognise any of the fish in there, but I know that's probably some of the guys from England, some of Tim's customers as well as fish are in there. Absolutely stunning, thank you. I remember a couple of them from the harvest, but I can't remember whose fish were whose. Uh, more of the looks of it from Centro. Yeah. And Coast Guy is very busy now getting getting all the fish packed away, get back to the farm, and then it means he can get ready for the, the banquet tonight. I'll let you get in there. Mike's helping him out get these fish loaded up under the van, get them all settled back into the ponds. one there it's a bit of a, like a makashi yogon but it has like a two tones of the fish of the belly's white or grey so it might be, be like a kogan achiba type thing or some sort of crossing of the two there's nnd's fish here Very nice. A lot of discussion going on here, I'll leave them to it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> More NND stuff. Now you can see they're starting to bring the bags up into the tanks now. It's amazing just how efficient these guys are when packing away these shows. You think how long it takes to set up a show in the UK or even the ones that we used to have in Ireland would be a day or two before, but these guys literally come out yesterday afternoon, throw the vats up, get the water in. Um, and everybody has to, all the breeders have to help. I think that's the big thing is the, the amount of cooperation there is between the breeders to put these shows on. Coast Guy's very heavily involved in it. He's part of the Young Breeders Association. They would be responsible for all the sort of the harder work and the setting the, the tanks up and getting them filled with water and getting the air sorted out and things like that. I think the, some of the more senior breeders then will be involved in organising tonight's banquet. Show. Not too sure who that is. Don't think I've ever been there. But definitely breed some really nice Kohaku. Yeah, so there you go, a bit of a whistle stop to her. They say it <coughs> didn't arrive here until late, but um, I'll have a quick walk around here without the camera. But yeah, it's good to see Brian getting the grand champion uh, at Marado Fish. I'm especially pleased that it's uh, Jimmy's fish that's won. It's really good to see. Such a good guy. Yeah, it's well deserved. So, all right, thanks. 
Uh, yeah, so just followed Saito, uh, Saito San and Kosuke back to the farm here. They're bringing their fish back from the show. We're just getting back into the tank sink with the tanks already salted up and stuff. So it'll be a fairly quick process. This. It's not like in the harvest where they'll have a look at the fish and all the rest of it. We're just getting bagged and put back into the, the tanks. Good me. Yeah, from what I can see, all the fish in this, this, this tank has been emptied. We probably keep the, the fish that the show isolated in this tank. And just do a few uh, tests and stuff on it, like scrapes or something, maybe, or treat them. It's probably salted up a bit heavier than the other water or something like that. If you look at the flow rates in these tanks, you can see how high a flow it is. The reason the high flow works so well in these systems is because of the footprint of the filters. Compared to sort of the filtration systems that we use in the West, other than the drum filters can handle a higher flow rate, but certainly not through the bios chambers of them. They work very well on a slower flow, but these under these big boards is all the filtration, which is big chambers full of uh, Japanese matting, oyster shells and stuff like that, and brushes. And it allows them, because there's such large filters, uh, such a large footprint, they can pull water through them quite quickly. And again, you can see how heavy the aeration is in these ponds. Very, very important. And talking to the breeders, they would say that the aeration probably the most important part of the, the system. BB from Fitz Fitz Pons doing it. Video on it. All done, those guys. All done. Last one. That's them all back into the pond there now. Um, 
Just get the tanks emptied and then I think we're going to head up to possibly Heroi now for a look around there. Yeah, so we're just back up now at uh, Shinoda Koi Farms, probably for the last time on this trip. We catch up with Brian and his new customers are here today. Like this, right? Yeah, looks like he's got a few more fish in, but not many. Nisai. Hmm? Right, I don't know how I'm going to get around. I have to go the long way. Sorry, excuse me. Sorry, can I just thank you very much. Sorry. This room at the back here is where they keep all the jumbo parent fish and stuff. February, but we could. That's it. Pretty bottom. Well, Brian's been busy with the looks of things. A couple of nice big fish up in the bowl here. Or a nice fish. You having this one, Jim? It's fine. I've already bought it. At this stage, I think it'd be easier for you to tell me which fish you haven't bought. All jumbo here at Surrey. Yonsai or Sansai? Just take a walk around here now and have a look at some of the two side. Well, they look like they're maybe getting treated. So this spawn uh, definitely has the remnants of PP in it. Yeah, it's a very important time of the year now for these the, the, the breeders getting these two sites set and ready for export. And they bring them in at this age to try and take them through a thing called sleeping sickness. Make them a lot stronger for um, shipping. So, I mean, we're getting so many, like, if you could just tell us, like, what time you want. Or, like, I think Brian's bought a couple of thousand of these. I'm hopefully, going to get tagging on a couple of boxes of the series. This fish house out the back, all closed up at the minute, that's where all the sole fish get kept until they're ready to be shipped. Yeah, that's, that could be well be his best ones or something, maybe he keeps them, although no, not at that size. The other fish house across over there. Oh, right across the street? That's all the two sides, but he, oh, really? may, he may not let you in the... He don't want you in there. Yeah, no, it's usually all locked up. Yeah, so well, one of our daily stops, uh, Marahiro, probably be going to be the last time I'll be here as well. Uh, I'll just flick this right now to see the difference in the circle pond from uh, when we first got here. It's really starting to fill up now. There's still a lot of fish to come in here. But yeah, uh, for the next few weeks, you'll be, probably be able to walk across the water on the backs of these fish. There'll be that many in here. All the guys, all the fish in here are sort of 80, 80 cm plus, up to over a meter. 
There's so many fish being harvested it's every day. It's always worth coming in here and having a look around just to see what new stuff's come in. Evo over there doing a bit of business with, I um, can't remember his name, a guy called Ochiba Koi's from India. He's actually been working here as staff with Marahiro for the, the autumn. Brian's just pulling up a few sand fly to have a look at at the minute in Dainichi. I 
absolutely stunning fish. I think I probably said that a few times on this trip. <laughs> Just back off here and let AJ get his videos done. Yeah, Brian's picking up a few more out of here to get a look up. I think he's a few customers in America interested in these. Get in. It's too short? Yeah. Lift it up. Lift it up, that's right. <laughs> yeah, not the easiest. <laughs> not, not the easiest pond to get in the night of. <laughs> Wow. You like the mark? Yeah. Oh. Whoa. に素晴らしいこれがたくさん出品されていましたこれも皆様のえ大会の検査の評論とご協力提供をしたいと思いますまたその中で大会総合優勝を獲得したジェームズさんをはじめ大賞を受賞された皆様本当におめでとうございました
Leg at five each. Let's go! 
It's fun. It's fun. You need to be Right here. So that's the end of the, the Breeders' Banquet after the Nagoka Boys Show. The guys at FFP absolutely killed it today on the show. So many major prizes. It's really good to see them getting the, the rewards for all the work they've been in over the last few years. Uh, they brand sevens onwards and upwards. They've got a few big fish planned for next year. So, and I think they're going to do hopefully do pretty well at the All Japan Show this and uh, at the end of January. But there you go. Thanks.